What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Kangaroo Black coming back once again, talking about Ajay Hall and his situation uh, being suspended from uh, Texas football team. Uh, so I ran up on this article, and uh, it's basically talking about the incident, what happened last week that caused him to get arrested. Um, basically, you know, over a boot, damaged, he damaged the boot uh, on his car. So, uh, you know, officers had arrived and, you know, advised him don't damage the boot, but he took a tire iron and broke the boot. So he got arrested. Uh, you know, they let him go with no bun, but, you know, after he got out, you know, he went to Twitter and uh, he made a post saying that they've been coming for his car ever since he got there. Why? Why would they be coming after you, only your car? I'm sure, I mean, it probably was illegally parked or didn't have a parking sticker or, or something or a campus sticker, something, uh, you know, to make them put a boot on his car. But anyway, uh, but the part uh, that got me was uh, what Steve Sarkeesian said um, today uh, during the media day, I guess. I said uh, Sarkeesian indicated that Hall suspension was about more than just his arrest. So he been jacking up, I guess, ever since he uh, he got to Texas, I guess. So Steve Sarkeesian had to let him go. But uh, this is what uh, Steve Sarkeesian, uh, well, he did say that, you know, the suspension was more about his, his arrest. But he went on and said, my job as a coach is to put our players in the best position to be successful, not just in football, but but in life in the classroom. Uh, I felt like this situation called for that. This was not something that was based off one incident. This is something that was a body of work that I felt like I need to help the young man, and that's what I'm going to do. So it's it's a number of things that Ajay Harden did since he'd been at Texas. So and Steve Sarkeesian I had enough. But they're gonna continue to work with him and his family to try to help Ajay Hall. Uh Sarkeesian went on to say, working with Hall and his family, uh, the goal is to put a plan in place to help the sophomore wide receiver mature. So hopefully, hopefully they can do that. I mean, he is very immature right now. And uh they might have a long road ahead of them trying to help this guy. So we'll see what see what happens, man. Um he said some more stuff. Uh we're working with a Jay. Uh we're working with his family to get him in a situation where he can be a really functional part of this team. And the goal for him, the goal for us is to play great football at the University of Texas, graduate from the University of Texas and be a great teammate and walk out of here and an even better person than when uh when he first arrived. Uh, so we're putting all the pieces in place to help him do that. When the time is right, we'll have him back on our team. So they say he's suspended indefinitely. But like I said, indefinite don't mean <laughs> you ain't playing on this team no more, right? It could be the year. It could be eight games, six games, three games. Or like I say, it can be until they need you. So we'll see if uh, – we'll just have to wait and see if we see a Jay on the field this season. But uh, it's crazy to think that this guy um, was at Alabama and could have been a star player if he'd have just waited his turn, if he'd have just did the right thing and uh, kept kept himself grounded. So, but, so I guess it's all about me, me, me with him. He don't want to be a team player, but – uh, he was at Alabama doing what he do. Nick Saban had enough of it. Suspended him twice, basically. He suspended him for some games, then suspended him uh, during the spring, and then he went on and let him go. Then he get to Texas doing the same shit. When will he learn that uh, there's only so much these coaches are going to take? They're going to only help you so many times. They're only going to give you so many chances. So 
if you want if you want to be uh getting all these this negativity towards you just keep doing what you're doing and it'll come with it so but like i say he's young he still got time to get himself together i mean back when 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 honey badger was at was at lsu he liked to smoke he liked to smoke so they had to suspend him a few times but guess what he got himself straight he got himself straight made it to the nfl and ain't looked back guess what success outweigh what you doing right now you got to look at the future but jay hall i think he's living in the now but uh <laughs> like hunter badger that damn that damn funny cigarette ain't worth these millions that I'm getting right now. And that's what Jay Hall should be thinking. I mean, doing stupid shit is not worth the millions that I will be getting in the future. But if he keep going like he going, he gonna mess it all up. Mess it all up. So, it is what it is. I can only wish to got the best once again and wish that he can straighten himself out and hope that his family will help him out and talk some damn sense into him and tell him to get his shit together. Because guess what? He can get a free education as long as he's playing football. And guess what? He can even get paid playing football now. <laughs> I mean, what more you want? You can get paid while you're playing college ball. You can get your education, get your degree. Just in case football don't work out for you. Hey, and if it do, you got the chance to go to the NFL and make millions. Only if you stop doing the dumb shit. Because if you don't stop doing the dumb shit in college and you go to the NFL, you're going to continue to do that dumb shit in the NFL. And you're going to wind up without a job. Of course, the NFL, as long as you don't got damn... I guess rape and beat a woman, you'll be all right. <laughs> Shit. Seems like to me. But uh, Jai Hall, he really do need to get himself together. I mean, he got it all in front of him. He got it all in front of him. This close. This close. And he can have it all. But if he don't get himself together, he ain't going to never reach it, even though it's so damn close. Because guess what? Them team, them owners, them coaches, they don't want this kind of distraction in the NFL. And, of course, Steve Sarkeesian don't want it. You know, these coaches try to keep shit in-house, you know, as far as when shit do happen. But when you go to straight when you go straight to social media, they don't do nothing but cause more problems and more distraction. And Coach Saban wasn't having that. And uh, Steve Sarkeesian, he's trying to help this guy. But eventually... Steve Sarkeesian going to give up on him. So it is what it is. Hopefully he get he get right and uh, do his thing on the football field and, and make it to the NFL and continue to do do what he do on the field and be successful, successful at it. So that's all I got, and I'll talk to y'all later. Roll Tide.